of Pivy. Um, so it's pride still. Um, yeah, we're only uh, two days into June. And uh, I've already made a pride bandana um, that Mel wore and looks super cute. It's a little big, um, but I was having trouble with sizing, um, trying to fit all my colors on there, but I think it turned out pretty cute, um, honestly. And purple's a little dark, but it's a, pretty much the only purple I had. So, um, you know, you do what you can. Um, hold on one second. Sorry. Stop trying to sell me on stuff. Restream. Um, so, uh, most of it is Red Heart Super Saver. Um, so it made it a little stiff. So I'm hoping um, it'll kind of soften up with use and be a little bit more pliable to the head instead of you having to kind of wiggle it around. Um, I'm also going to make one for my dog um, so he can have a little bandana. I think I'm going to make him um, a mini bandana, which would be to the size of the green. Um, because he definitely doesn't need something this big. He's a big dog, so he probably could wear it, but I think it might look a little silly. So, um, so yeah, I made this. Um, it didn't take long at all. It's just granny square stitch, um, and I learned something new. So um, not that I didn't, I, I, mean, I knew how to do a granny square stitch, but um, haven't done it in a triangular form before. So um, that was fun to learn. So now I want to make a cat sweater. Um, so I got this book um, forever ago. I um, it says crocheted sweaters for cats and it's by Brett Barra and um, it is super cute. I wouldn't say it has the best instructions. I think I got it in a kit that came with like a little bit of yarn. And um, I've made sweaters out of this book before, but I've only made the basic sweater. So, um, so, and I'm gonna keep with the basic sweater and just, um, just add some rainbows into it. So I hope my cat will like it. I'm pretty sure he won't, um, but that's okay. And uh, so I'm going to be doing black and then these rainbow colors um, in stripes on the body. Um, and then the rest of the, um, the rest of the sweater will be black. So uh, I figured given like how little instruction they give they don't give a whole lot of instruction on how to like keep the striping going when you're doing the armholes and stuff like that so um that's why i decided hey prince daniel welcome in um to uh do that so right now i'm working on my foundation list my foundation chain um and I am doing double crochets, I'm doing a foundation double crochet and doing it wrong. <laughs> no surprise there. Okay, so let's see. They wanted me to use a K-hook, which I thought was really weird because it called for, um, it called for, uh, worsted weight yarn, but, um, there is my impact, there it is, um, but it'll just be a little bit more, um, airy
So I'm using black yarn right now. I'm using my Karen one pound, um, as you can see. And um, black yarn is uh, notoriously hard to see. So I am buying a set of lighted hooks. to be able to see stitches in black a little bit easier because I plan on making um, a pair of shorts um, and I want to use mostly black yarn and then do a rainbow band at the bottom and uh, I don't want to deal with black yarn that much um, without using hooks that light up so um, I want to give myself and give my eyes a break. Um, and not uh, hurt myself. That would not be good. Yeah, so we're making a cat sweater. Um, it's going to be black and rainbow. Um, that is kind of my aesthetic, if you will. Um, so um, they had where you could do like white and I just did, I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. How are you doing, Daniel? I have my yarn on the side. It's annoying. I'll put you over there. Enjoying your birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Do you have any special plans for the day? She wasn't using a hook this big. <laughs> Usually I like like using bigger hooks. It's the product done faster, but like right now it's just piss me off. I just I had just turned twenty-six. That's awesome. Well happy twenty-sixth birthday. Twenty-five, twenty-six, I feel like those are really um, great transformational years um, for a lot of people. I know they were for me, so um, I hope you enjoy. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, <laughs> not much progress. Huh? I got cake and ice cream. I'm saving that for later. Ooh, fun. Um, that is 
a great birthday, if you ask me. How's it going with me? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. No complaints. Uh, just trying to, you know, make a lot of stuff for Pride. Um, it's a fun time of year for me uh, to be able to um, celebrate. So, you know, this is my Christmas. And um, I know a lot of people get excited uh, around the holidays. Um, and this is this is this is my Christmas. So, um, I just am looking forward to making a bunch of rainbow and trans um, colored items. Uh, Such a squeaky, like, <laughs> squeaky little um, hook. She's like, squeak, 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 squeak. Little mouse. You're a crafter, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I wear that badge proudly. I do all kinds of crafts, which is why I call myself Pivy Does It All. Um, because I do a little bit of everything. So I didn't, when I made the channel, it didn't really make sense to say like Pivy, you know, Pivy's just a nickname of mine I've had for like 10 plus years. Um, and um, I, didn't want to just say like Pivy crochets or whatever because um, I do more than that. Um, but lately, my main craft has been crochet, and um, yeah, um, and I do makeup, and it just didn't seem to make sense to call myself a yarn channel when that's not all I do. So, getting a little bit longer. Um, so, I believe, let me check my cat book. So, um, they want 42 stitches um, for to go around the belly. Um, and uh, so, they have kitten size, they have regular cat size, and then they have fat cat size and fortunately unfortunately my cat falls in the fat cat category um we do not overfeed him um in fact we feed him i mean what the vet says we should feed him he's just a big cat um he can't help it we can't help it he's healthy so that's the best we can do we don't you know, doing anything wrong, apparently. So he's just really long. Um, but he's got a little bit of a belly. Oh my gosh, 
my um, phone is on vibrate and <laughs> that scares me. I'm not loving this hook right now. Do I have another K? I think so. But I finish a stitch. Let me see. I mostly have clover hooks, so when they once they get bigger, they um. <gasps> I do have a furls K. Oh my gosh, yes. So excited. Maybe this will be a little bit more agreeable with this yarn. Sometimes yarn and hooks just don't communicate like I need them to. That doesn't look right. Girls feel so good after so long of a break. Oh yeah, this is much better. Well, I'm very happy that you decided you're to spend your birthday with me, um, at least a little part of it. Um, we get to have a good old time, just chit-chatting. Shan. Enjoy it very much. Oh, great. Hell no, they're not playing that game. Well, 
wish I could play some music or something. I guess I could play some like royalty free music, but or I could just listen to my headphones. But then I wouldn't be as talkative and like would that be as fun? I don't know. Probably not. Although, you know, maybe I don't know. Maybe the relative silence. Just learned how to do this, so I'm a little extra slow, but I'm getting faster. But I do make mistakes a lot, just <laughs> so like faster but slower at the same time. Probably evens out to being the same speed that I was before. Shout out to your mom. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you, you got to appreciate moms, you know, for all they do and, you know, putting up with all of our teenage years and all of that. Moms are heroes. So are dads, you know. I know this isn't going to quite yet, but I'm going to put some stitch markers in just so I can get um, an idea of where I'm at. big on counting as much as I can because I'm always off on my counts. So, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, welcome in. I am making a cat sweater. Um, and I am currently working on my foundation chain, um, which is in black. Uh, and then I will be using all of these colors as stripes on the body of the cat. Um, so uh, it'll be something like... this little picture right here except I'm probably gonna stop right there and just do black from here on out um that's my plan at least um yes this is a sweater of uh, this is a book of sweater crocheted sweaters for cats um I am that person and um 
So, I, uh, am a little obsessed with my cat. If you met my wife, you know that she is much more obsessed with my cat. Um, yeah, isn't that pretty? But they get, they, this book gives the worst instructions. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to, to, to pull it off. We'll see. I'm taking a, uh, smoke break. Um, yeah, just cause, um, I want to, <laughs> um, especially after switching hooks. Uh, now I feel like I have like a little bit more of a rhythm. I felt like I was having a really hard time getting into the rhythm with this K hook, um, by Clover. Um, and it's just the combination that is your cat. Um, no, uh, my cat is a tabby cat. So he's all orange and he is a menace to society. Um, I actually lock him out of the room when I uh, do lives because he will be all over my keyboard um, trying to suck all the heat from my laptop. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I keep him locked up. <laughs> and by locked up, I just mean out of the room. Um, this is kind of a separate room off of um, my living room so uh, also uh, apologies for my hair i didn't realize how big and fluffy my hair was until i turned on my camera to um to stream and uh i was like like it's 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 bad it's just like it's everywhere <laughs> It's everywhere today, and I can't control it, and I didn't put any gel in it last night, because I was like, uh, who cares, you know, and, um, turns out I should have, because it's a hot mess right now, so, mm, that's okay. One more pop, and then... We will get back to crocheting. I chose to do, you look fantastic. Oh, that's so nice. You don't have to say that, especially because it's not true. <laughs> I have to vehemently disagree with you, but opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has one. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Very nice. Um, let me count stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're at 32 stitches and I need 42 um, to complete the round. And then I'm going to start striping. So I know um, the rainbow kind of goes in a particular order, um, like orgy viv and all that. But due to how dark some of my colors are um i don't want to begin or end in certain colors because i want them to pop so um i am making sure uh, i hear my mouth no it's just fuzz from here um i want to make sure that um, my purple, my blue, and my green, which are all a little bit deeper. Um, as you can see here, like, they all kind of blend together. I feel like my purple, my blue, and my green, they all kind of blend together a little bit too much. Um, and if I put them next to black, I don't think that they'll pop enough. So I'm actually going to start with orange, and then I'm going to go to red, and then I'm going to go to purple. So, um... I think that that will allow the the darker colors to shine a little bit and um, whatever. I 
enough jibber jabber. Let's get back to crocheting. where I want to go. It's so hard to see the individual pieces of the yarn and they're black. But we managed to make it work, don't we? Do you do any crafts, Daniel? Get it through the right ones. Okay. 
Let's see how many stitches we have. I think we should be good. We're very close. So let's see. I think I've mentioned this before, but part of the reason I like these locking stitches. Um, not only is because they lock and they stay there and it's really great, but they're really good for counting stitches because I just like use the pointy end to count like through, actually through my stitches and it's really helpful, um, at least for someone like me. Oh my gosh, I stopped at exactly 42 stitches. So now, and, and this is so much easier than doing a chain when I my stitch markers out. Um, this is so much easier than doing a chain um, and then doing your stitches on top of that because it's a lot easier to make sure that your chain doesn't turn and get twisted. Because we don't want that. And it's nice and stretchy, which is exactly what I want. Because I've made cat sweaters before, and they didn't have any um, stretch to them. And uh, I felt like it was not as comfortable for my cat. So, and really that's what we're concerned about, right? Cat comfort. slip stitch to connect the two. I feel like I kind of want to do, I feel like it's like not quite connected enough. But once I start doing the stitches, it'll be, it'll be okay. Um, actually, you know what, I don't want to do that in black. to do it in whatever color I'm going to do next. So let me check. Okay. Check my little bug brickets. These are so cute. to stitch here, double crochet in each around, slip stitch, double crochet, in rows 2 through 13. Okay. Man, I could also do, I could do a double rainbow. I could do, um, or I could just do two stripes of each color. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead. Two stripes of each color. So then we'll get a nice little pattern going. And then it'll be a little bit more prominent. But it's a rainbow and my cat is gay. <laughs> my cat's not gay. Um, my cat's never even met another cat. So, um, so like I said, I'm going to start with orange. So this is a discontinued um, yarn. This is Studio Classic by Nicole. Um, it used to be carried at AC Moore. AC Moore is no more. So, um, so unfortunately, this yarn is not available because it's 
awesome. This is awesome yarn. It's so soft. It's so squishy. Um, it's great value yarn. I, I guess it counts as value yarn. Um, so I'm going to pull this color through. And then chain two. They want me to chain two, right? Sometimes when you do double crochet, they want you to chain three. Sometimes they want you to double crochet. Uh, or chain, yeah. Chain two turn. Okay. So I'm going to chain two. I feel like oh, it's just so loose. I feel like I'll end up sewing at the ends there, so they're nice and tight at the bottom as well. Um, but now they just want me to um, do double crochet into each stitch. Um, so I'll do that with my orange, and I'm gonna weave in my end as I go. I'm going to try to see how this works, see how many freaking hands I can have. One time I, um, so this is when my cat was younger, but my cat, um, my cat was... Uh, also, uh, so he was skinnier, but he was still a really long cat. And I made him just like, I made him this like solid red without the sleeves. Cause I, I'm not going to put my cat in sleeves. I don't know why that seems like it crosses the line or something. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I did like a, so without the sleeves, um, red, just use the red yarn that they gave me um and because he's an orangish yellowish cat he looked like winnie the pooh because he was so long that it looked like he was wearing like a little crop top for cats and um i uh i loved it it was so cute on him but he is no longer that size so we've got to make the fat cat version unfortunately but you know it is what it is. He's a healthy boy, so that's all we care about. So I'm just going to keep going around and around. And, um, ooh, this would make such a cute um, little... I made him an orange one, too, and in his current size. And he looks freaking adorable. I made... And I did, like, green trim, so he looks like a little pumpkin. Um, so cute. But... Halloween would be really cute uh, to do one and then stitch on a little jack-o'-lantern um, embroidery. Uh, that would be cute. So I'm going to call it a day. Um, I might stream later, but I might not. Who knows? Uh, but it was fun talking to you guys, and I hope you have a great day and a happy Pride Month. And... Um, Woo. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.